I always thought this would have been a bit more interesting if they'd gone a bit more, you know, cut down quite dramatically on the number of necromorphs, considering there's... Actually, I suppose you never do find out how many people were supposed to be on the Ishimura, do you? Yeah. No, I still think it would have been better with less necromorphs, more of this creepy atmosphere shit, and perhaps a, well, perhaps a great deal less ammo. So when stuff does hit the fan... Oh, fuck off. Don't even care. Don't even care. I'm out, son. I'm out. You can blow up the scenery in a fit of piquet if you really want, but I'm still not coming back. You know, the job comes first. Yeah. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Right. And I apologise, by the way, if you can hear all the creaking and shit of me trying and failing utterly not to shift around in my chair. Seriously, thanks to the leg cramp and the foot stuff. It's even less comfortable to sit here and do this than it is normally. You know, because of the way I have to record this, it's just not possible to do it in a comfortable position. It just really isn't. Right, let's get me uh, some extra health. Health points. Dark Kashan. That'll do me nicely. I need to upgrade my air meter at some point as well. Can't remember it. There's one of the upcoming chapters where I'm going to have to do a fair bit of uh, dicking around and uh, vacuum, so yeah. Actually, there's a couple of the chapters. Again, it's just a shame that you don't do the spacewalk thing. Would have liked more of that. Past Mr. Scott's corridor. As it shall be forever known. Right. Uh, any point in going to the store? Let's say uh, no. I'll just save the game. I think. Right. Uh, this way next, isn't it? If I don't run into the scenery. Yeah. Again, one of these things you guys won't know. There was actually a ten-minute gap there. Well, I went off, briefly got a sandwich, and uh, a drink of Dr Pepper of all things, which I have to blame Duran. I can't say the guy's fucking name. Which I've got to blame Deranged Band for putting the bloody idea in my head. We were having a bit of a debate the other day as to uh, the superior soft drink for LPing. I am, um, usually at least, firmly on the side of Pepsi with Fanta Lemon coming in a close second. But yeah, you know, he was on about Dr. Pepper and it's been stuck in my head. I had to go out and buy some. Ooh, a text log. We all sitting comfortably, children. Then I shall tell you a tale. Well, not really, of course. I'm just gonna try and get a good camera angle so it's close enough to the screen for you guys to read. I will scroll down, pause as necessary, and, uh, yeah, read it yourselves. Just confirms, really, all the stuff we've noticed, or, well, all the stuff we've been told already, actually. I'm not sure on the point of that one. We have literally been told about what the Grove does already in. Uh, spoke. Oh. Can I not pick them up and fling them before they explode? Use them as grenades to attack this guy? Hmm. I must admit, that is slightly disappointing. I will not lie. Well, fine. I've got a shit ton of ammo, so I'm just gonna keep shooting all your ten. Isaac. What have I warned you about, mate? What have I warned you about? But yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep shooting you, so I've got plenty of ammo to do so. Until, uh, you cock it, basically. That is my plan. Hmm. Quite a lot of extra health points, too. That works nicely. Can you stop regrowing your bloody tentacles? Seriously. <laughs> Fling that guy in anger. <laughs> you see that? Ah, oh, fuck you, Isaac. I'm gonna throw this guy. Ah, oh, why would you do that to John? You prick. I'll make you pay for desecrating his corpse. Don't you know he hated to jump? One of his all-time worst things. Uh, yeah, force energy. Yeah, I'm already getting bored with the force energy gun, to be honest with you. Or with the force gun, should I say. I'm guessing that if you upgrade it a great deal more than I have, then it's, you know, it's tremendous fun, probably. You've got much wider blowback effect, etc, etc. As it stands at the moment, though, it's starting to get on my tits. 
because he doesn't really seem to hurt people properly. Hi there. In the closet, eh? Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, the digital screen's first gay necromorph. Right. Seriously, it's like the other guy that was. Well, actually, no, it's, the it's not the first. It's the, the other guy who was hiding in the cupboard. But uh, unfortunately, I accidentally deleted the footage of that bit, didn't I? Sorry, I accidentally kicked the microphone, which doesn't really help. Uh, can't even unlock that even I wanted to. No, it's not exactly a great loss. Like I say, I'm um, not going to really bother with the no doors from this point onwards. Because provided I don't cock it up too badly, I shouldn't need all the extra ammo and stuff, so... Yeah, should be fine. There's something whispering at me too, that's... That's actually a bit unsettling, I'll admit. You see the strange, stringy, oddly solid organic growths. That's very alien, isn't it? You call it homage, I call it... Fromage. That is very cheesy. And yeah. Right, who wants... Oof! Right. Ah, crap, I just used the stasis at completely the wrong point because I can't get around you to hit you, can I? Fine. This way, son. Just follow Isaac Clarke in his amazing moon dance. <laughs> That's it. Come at me, son. Ah, it was a trick, you prick. Shoot him in the legs, Isaac. No, the legs, damn it. That's it. Where we get the most blood fly out. Ah, you douchebag. Having a tantrum's not going to stop Isaac Clarke. Tool for every job, motherfucker. Blam, blam, blam. Come on. Do it, Isaac. Do it. In the back. I quite happily punch him in the back. In fact, I could quite happily punch him if he was on the job. It's a shame he's awake. Right. No sense of magnificence, I know. Or magnificence, even. I seem to have trouble pronouncing things lately. Actually, interesting side note. The first time... Well, interesting to me, anyway. The first time I played this game... Uh, I'm not sure how, but... I accidentally skipped one of the enemy triggers which meant that from that point onwards uh, all of the enemies that were supposed to appear, like that big mob that jumped me in the main room or in the previous atrium uh, basically they didn't appear so I just ran straight through this entire section the first time I played this game and no enemies spawned anywhere the only ones that appeared were these guys and they were you know pre-spawned by the new subjective yeah that shit was pretty hilarious you know from my perspective anyway which was great I was running around collecting all this ammo that was supposed to be you know for killing stuff like the big lad and whatnot and because no one ever spawned I got to the boss with so much ammo I literally couldn't carry it I had to sell some stuff and then went back and recollected the ammo so yeah I made a tidy profit on this level originally just a shame that I can't do it again really isn't it I can't figure out for the life of me how I caused that glitch the first time. Uh, anyone else going to jump out to molest me? Nope. Works for me. Right. Any... Ooh, nobody in here. But there are goodies. Magnificent goodies. That... Oh, fuck off. Well, that wasn't worth it. There's ammo and there's health, though, here. So, yeah. If it works, it works, I guess. I got two med medium med packs. That's not bad. Not bad at all. It's putting me in good stead for the boss fight. Which. Well, basically, I've got a plan for this. Because the boss fight originally, the first time I did it, took me about 45 minutes. Because I only had the plasma cutter. Obviously, this time around, I'm going to do things a bit differently. And try and make sure that it should go a bit swifter. Let's put it that way. Now I say should because there are no guarantees. Uh, neither in life nor in the world of LP. Although the power of editing makes things uh, a lot smoother for the watchers anyway. 